Hello everyone and welcome to J1 Aviation. Surprise, NOTAMs have a new abbreviation this week. It's not Notice to Airmen anymore, but it's Notice to Air Missions. Actually, this is something that's been in the works for some time now, and it complies with the Federal Women's Program suggestion. So now we have an inclusive term. But I would argue this is much cooler sounding. So instead of being on a local flight over the farmland of Southern Pennsylvania, it sounds much cooler when I can say I'm being dispatched on an air mission this afternoon. Now this wasn't the only change in this new NOTAM rule, which was well over 100 pages, but it will be the one that's most talked about for sure. However, I noticed at the time of this recording on Wikipedia, it still hasn't been updated, so someone needs to get on that. So now let's talk briefly about NOTAMs then today. So generally speaking, NOTAMs are divided into four categories. You have the first one, NOTAM D, which is NOTAMs that receive distant dissemination. These pertain to airports listed in the chart supplement or NAV facilities, which are part of the National Airspace System or NAS. You have FDC NOTAMs, which are regulatory in nature. So these are changes to airways, SIDs, or STARS, generally for IFR traffic. You have pointer NOTAMs, which as their name suggests, point to other NOTAMs, which can be referenced. And you have military NOTAMs, which pertain to military airports or NAV aids. Okay, so let's get on to the private pilot test prep questions, which we do on this channel. Uh, and also the next year, the FAA will need to update the text on their exam questions. So let's get started. So question number one, when information is disseminated about a taxiway closure, it will be located in A, FTC NOTAMs, B, NOTAM D distribution, or C, pointer NOTAMs. Okay, so the answer is B, NOTAM D distribution. Remember, NOTAM D is for all navigation facilities that are part of the airspace system and all public use airports. So NOTAM D text will include the following for the airport itself. It could be for the runway, the taxiway, the ramp, the apron, the aerodrome re beacon, or any services that are affecting the airport. Could also be affecting the local area, like maybe there's an obstruction tower that's being built, or there's a light that's in op on one of the towers, or it could be tied to something in the surrounding airspace. Or it could be a notice regarding a comm or nav frequency, so that would be NOTAM D distribution. Okay, question two, what is the purpose of FDC NOTAMs? A, to provide the latest information on the status of navigation facilities to all flight service station facilities for scheduled broadcasts. B, to issue notices for all airports and navigation facilities in the shortest possible time. Or C, to advise of changes in flight data which affect instrument approach procedures, aeronautical charts, and flight restrictions prior to normal publication. So the answer is C, to advise of changes in flight data which affect instrument approach procedures, aeronautical charge, flight restrictions prior to normal publication. So FTC NOTAMs contain information that's regulatory in nature pertaining to changes in charts, procedures, or airspace usages. So examples would include, you know, something on an airway has changed, or a SID or star change, or a temporary flight restriction in the area. Okay, question three, and this is the last question for today. So which sources of aeronautical information we use collectively provide the latest status of airport conditions? Example, runway closures, runway lighting, or snow conditions. The AIM, aeronautical charts, and D NOTAMs. Uh, B, chart supplement and FTC NOTAMs. Or C, chart supplement and D NOTAMs. Okay, so the answer here is C, chart supplement and D NOTAMs. Okay, so the chart supplement, or known as the AFD for us old guys, <laughs> lists out items that have been out there for some time. The D NOTAMs provide the most up-to-date info. A is incorrect because the AIM has like the basic flight info and flight rules, but not specific airport info that you'd be looking for like a NOTAM. And B is incorrect because FTC NOTAMs do not deal with individual specific airport issues, but rather items which are regulatory in nature, like specific procedures. So thanks everyone for riding along today. We hope you will join us on a future flight and thanks for flying J1 Aviation.